Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. I hope you're doing well. Today the title on my thumbnail reads Church of England, God is Not a White Man. So the reason for, for this uh, title is I was looking at the Daily Telegraph here a few, uh, the, uh, the other day and uh, found this article. It says, God is not a white man, declare the Church of England clergy in Jesus' diversity drive. Dioceses across the country review depictions of biblical images in name of racial justice. Which sounds fairly mad to me. So let's have a look see what they say. Uh, Church of England clergy have declared that God is not a white man and are working to make images of Jesus more diverse. So first of all, in that first sentence, um, uh, why is not uh, God a white man? Uh, he came came from a part of the world where people, I guess, would probably be olive sort of uh, sort of skin colour. And secondly, why why do we have to have diversity in the Bible? This book here was written a long time ago but it's got truth in there and we don't need to change anything and the fact is whether it's a white man black man red man green man it doesn't matter we should all love people for what they are not for the skin color the skin color doesn't come into it um, someone i know of who has uh, quite a large ministry which is growing rapidly he sa said he suddenly realized he hasn't got that many americans work for him but he said he doesn't base um uh, base his ministry on where people come from or his staff he, he bases it on their ability to do certain jobs within the ministry and that's what the church of england should be looking at i mean diversity i don't really understand diversity um so whenever i see dive, dive diversity and inclusion i know it's kind of a load of rubbish um, anyway the article goes on to say dioceses across the country are reviewing how biblical figures should be depicted as part of a drive for racial justice how how about that read dioceses across the country are re reviewing how biblical figures should be depicted so people can get born again and, and saved uh, and have a have a life in heaven rather a life in hell maybe that would be better from the church of england then it goes on to say clergy have been urged to question whether images of jesus truly rife, reflect diversity once again it's got nothing to do with diversity though jesus came to bring life abundantly and he came to and he came to set the captives free and bring eternal life he didn't come to bring diversity he came that we may have a good life i really believe that and he wants us to do well but this diversity is absolute nonsense. Uh, one diocese has declared that God is not a white man and moved to ensure it use correct images that better reflect diversity. Uh, this was relayed to the church's new racial justice unit and included in a 2024 report on how dioceses are meeting with diversity and inclusion, inclusion targets. Once again, absolutely ridiculous. Um, the church is here is so that people can gather and uh, the Bible says about making disciples of all men and this is something we need to do. We have to remember that life on this earth is only short and um, we need to make the most of it and uh, when we die we have a choice if we believe in Jesus or, and, and go to heaven or if we reject him, re re reject him if we go the other way. Um, now here it's got a, f a few images of uh, this was this was changed and St Albans Cathedral Cathedral is sort of painting of the Last Supper that featured a black Jesus in 2020. It's kind of just they should be focusing on not colour of skin but f focusing on get getting people saved and born again and teaching them the good news that the Bible brings. It's interesting to look at the comments. Um, it says Justin Welby is an absolute waster and, a and also a corrupt and dysfunctional fraud. He would be best advised to, to use your time sorting out to, to sorting out the abuse and his cover up. He has let, led to the church down a path of no identity. Now, there is some truth in that. Um, another lady, lady there. I'm, um, I'm beyond angry with what these heretics have done to the church. England I'm just glad I left and became a Catholic last year I don't think that's a particularly good idea but it's well, it's not about your de denomination it's what's in this book what does this book book say do you believe it because we need to believe it and uh, we will find the truth in here it's not about denominations it's finding the truth that sets you free um, it says, yes, the Roman Church has its own challenges but it's a much bigger nut to crack and will weather the storm this is both childish and highlights the utter theolo 
logical ineptitude of way I'll be in that fact prune York. Uh, sounds a bit severe. Um, anyway, another article I put out uh, into Google, who started diversity and inclusion in the Church of England, and came across this article, Celebrating Diversity in the Church of England, National Parag Parish Congregation Diversity Monitoring 2007. And it's just, I wouldn't even bother reading it, you know, background survey results, um, uh, parish sample selection, national congregational profile, gender and age, it's just well, why not just this this should be focusing on getting people set free as I've said and it's sad and um, it's a shame for the the very genuine people I know there are some great people in the Church of England who go by what the Word of God said this book here and they're very saddened by what's going on and let's be thankful for those good people in the Church of England and and, and make a stand for for truth so just thought look at some scriptures um, the first one is in Luke 22 70 and uh, talking about Jesus and, this, and it goes on to say that then they all said are you then the Son of God and so we know that uh, God uh, that Jesus exists and moving on to Matthew 28 18 to 20 talk about the Great Commission great passage and Jesus came and spoke to them saying all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth just proving that Jesus had authority go therefore and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you and lo I'm always with you even to the end of the age amen what, what a great couple of verses and that's what the Church of England should be focusing on making disciples of all men and sending people out uh, John 5 18 uh, therefore the Jews sought all the more to kill him because he only he not because he not only broke the Sabbath Sabbath but also said that God was his father making himself equal with God and then finally John 10 27 to 33 my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand my father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one else is able to snatch them out of my father's hand I and my father are one and then it says then the Jews took up stones again to stone him Jesus answered, uh, answered them many good works I have shown you from my father for which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, and because you are being a man, make yourself God. And uh, once again, we can see how people reacted. But it's good to know that we don't have to take a lot of notes of the Church of England, just this book here. Now, maybe you're listening to this and you're perhaps confused by everything that's going on in the world and in the Church of England, etc. But thankfully, there is a way out because Jesus died on a cross to set the captives free and to bring eternal life and you can have that if you genuinely believe in him and repent of your sins and I've got a prayer up here and if you say it and you genuinely mean it then you can have that born again spirit come into you and have that wonderful gift of eternal life the prayer reads dear Lord Jesus I acknowledge you as Lord and Saviour of my life I repent of all my sins and I ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life Amen. And if you said that prayer and you meant it, once again, you can have that born again spirit come in you and have the wonderful gift of eternal life. If you've got any questions on this video, please feel free to leave a comment. I'm here to help and encourage. Thanks very much for watching.